So this is the Lanvo L200G and this is um, using Pod Recovery and you can see it says um, RUA1 Auto CWM version 5.5.0.4 for the L200G. So this is Clockwork My Recovery. Um, I finally got it after um, almost a week of trying so many other different methods. Flashify worked for me. And why I wanted uh, Clockwork Ma Recovery is because I don't know if you can see this, but um, it says backup complete. So I wanted to create a backup of um, this ROM. And so now I have. In this video, I want to demonstrate how to use Flashify to um, install your custom recovery for the Lanvo L200G. Now, what you're looking at here are the two recoveries that are currently available. There is a Clockwork Mod Recovery. There is a, um, recover, a, a car, I think that's car live. Uh, touch recovery and so I've downloaded them and I can take you to the XDA developers page um, where they're located I'm going to make sure that I put the link in the description um, but if you look here yeah it's CarLive touch recovery uh, 2.5 and that's this if you touch this link it'll start downloading and then above that you have the regular clockwork mod recovery um, uh, oh no it's further down sorry um, for the MTK 6582 which is um, the MTK that this and this is the clockwork mod if you were to click that it would just start um, downloading now the other application that I got in order to do this process um, I've been trying for like a week and nothing else worked. I tried um, the SP Flash tools. I tried um, the other tool for MTK backup um, flashing because the whole reason I really wanted to get Clockwork My Recovery is because I bought this phone for my mom and I wanted to make a backup of it in case anything happened to it while she had it. Um, pretty much if you have a recovery and you have a backup or you can even download the, the the ROM in a zip form. You can pretty much restore your phone. So this is what Flashify looks like. It looks like a lightning bolt. When you open it, this is what you get. It says um, recovery image. And you have to choose the file. And um, uh, well, I'll show you what it does um, for our phone or for this phone. Say recovery image. It gives you the option to download any one of these. So you can click that and then the message is going to come up. No recovery was found. So you have to have the recovery image already installed because of that. So you have to choose the file. Um, I went to file chooser. I went to my media. And these are the two here that I downloaded. Um, mine took about a minute to do. If you click one. It'll tell you, you know, is this what you want to do? Um, flash recovery. You say, yup. It'll give you a symbol that says flashing, flashing, flashing. And then it'll say um, that it's um, completed. And then once it says that it's completed, it tells you to reboot. Your you press reboot. Um, it takes you into the uh, recovery that you downloaded. And for me, as you saw, it was the Clockwork Ma Recovery. So just for those folks that are out there that may have bought this phone and are having a hard time um, getting super user to work or getting um, the backup image um, from your um, from the developer, this is a way for you to put the Clockwork Mod on there and then you can just download the super user zip and install with Clockwork Ma Recovery. But that was one of the hardest things that I was finding possible is putting clockwork mod recovery on there because none of the tools that they have for this kind of phone recognized 
um, that my phone was rooted. I would plug it in. It would say that it was, uh, it would recognize the port, but they wouldn't be lit up yellow um, like the little boxes are supposed to be in the tools. And it would tell me that I needed to root, but I was already rooted. So this actually um, was the best thing for me. And it's a way to do it without all, without a PC too. So it's without the SP splash tools and without the PC. I hope that this video helps someone. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.